So to start dropshipping in the UK, do you need to register a limited company? Well, the answer is yes, and in this video, I'll explain why, and I'll show you what you need to do to get everything in place. So you can start selling products in the UK and making thousands of pounds every month through dropshipping alone. My name is James Eardley. I generated over 300,000 pounds worth of sales through my Shopify dropshipping store last year, and now I'm teaching others how they can do the same. So what do you think is the number one reason why new dropshipping companies can't sign high quality suppliers in the UK? You might think it's because of the lack of sales history or industry experience, or you might think it's a case of who they know and who they don't know, and that's why they can't get the right suppliers signed. Well, I'm here to tell you that, that from my experience of coaching people now in terms of in getting their dropshipping stores set up, that is not, none of those reasons are the number one reason why people can't sign suppliers. In fact, the number one reason is because they haven't got a registered company set up in place already, and therefore high quality suppliers won't be working with them until they have done. And that's the reason why it's so important to have a company registered in the UK so that you can show to new suppliers that you are a genuine, reputable company and you're going to be taking their business seriously and therefore they will work for you. A lot of suppliers in the UK just have it as a blanket rule that if you haven't got a registered company, they can't operate with you as one of their retailers. And so you'll need to get yourself registered as a limited company before you can proceed to sign these suppliers. So the three main options for you when operating your dropshipping business are, number one is a sole trader, number two is a limited company, or number three is a limited liability partnership. Now, this isn't legal or tax advice, but I would go down the route of a limited company. If you wanna be sure on this decision, you can speak with an accountant before you set up, but this is how I've established myself and it's how I advise new dropshipping uh, business owners to get set up as well, is through a limited company. Now, I'll go through your three options and reasons why you'd operate in each of the three different uh, systems. So the first option you've got is a sole trader, and that's what you'd be if you don't operate through a limited company, you'd automatically be operating as a sole trader because it would be yourself um, you know, as, a, as a legal entity, you'd be the one that's liable for your business. And when you take your income out of your business, you'd just be taxed through income tax. Essentially, you're self-employed and you'd be running your own business as an individual. Being a sole trader means you are solely responsible for the business and its debts. So the business and the owner are effectively one and the same. Uh, this means that any losses made by the business must be paid off out of your own pocket. And this is called unlimited liability. And the second option is a private limited company. So what that means, you're establishing a registered business that is a separate legal entity. This means that you will not be personal, uh, personally not be liable for any business losses. Uh, it will be your business as a separate legal entity. So any business losses, uh, if, you know, any debts, that would be covered by your business and it won't fall on you. So you won't need to uh, you know, sell your house to pay off debts, anything like that, because it's all the business that owes the money. Now, this is in the worst case scenario. If you have losses, if you have debts, um, it's best to be covered. You know, with the, the more small risk that those these can happen, it's best to be covered uh, if the worst comes to the worst. Whereas obviously we're not looking to go down the route of losses or debts or anything like that. But it's best to be set up to be covered for this straight away from the very start. The third option is to be operating through a limited liability partnership. And this might be appropriate for you if you wish to go into business with somebody else. Uh, so you're probably best to consult an accountant if you think this is the best option for you. Now, have a think about that. It's similar to uh, you'd be setting up a separate legal entity as a limited company, but it'll only be applicable if you want to go into business with somebody else. Have a think about that. The main reason that I'm operating through a limited company is because the requirement from suppliers is that you must be a limited company. Uh, certainly from the suppliers that I'm working with, and these are high quality suppliers in the UK selling high ticket products and they require limited companies to work with them. So the next steps for you to get started with proper foundations for your dropshipping business is to first of all, have a think about what I've said and the options that you've got. If you want to seek professional advice, you can speak to an accountant and make sure you're making the right decision for you. Um, and other than that, once you decide, or if you decide to go ahead with a limited company, which is what I suggest, you just go across to company's house and you go through the process to register a new limited company. 
go through the steps and enter all the details until you've got your company at the end. There's a small fee to register a company in the UK, but once it's paid for and done once, that's it, then you've got your company set up and running, and then you can operate yourself through that limited company for years. Now, if you're interested in selling high quality uh, items in the UK from reputable suppliers, then if you check out the link in the description, you can go through the same program that I went through that's taught me everything I know about dropshipping and it's enabled me to achieve the results that I uh, achieve now that I run my business full time and I can leave my nine to five job.